<laughs> what is up, NFL fans? <laughs> We're here talking uh, Jacksonville Jaguars versus the Kansas City Chiefs battle of two teams kind of on opposite spectrums right now. Uh, Jaguars came out last week. Looked like they needed to do what they needed to do. Man, we talked day. about this on multiple games last week. I feel like this might be a trap game for Kansas City. Very well, good. Well, Very I just good. feel like Kansas City, uh, Jacksonville's defense isn't getting recognition for being very good because they're not very good. But I still think that the receivers in Kansas City aren't very good. You know what I mean? So this might be one of them games where it's just like who could score the most because the receivers for Jacksonville are good and the secondary for Kansas City is not that great. I think I think one of the things that like sucks for for. I don't want to say for Kansas City, but more so for Jacksonville, is that, I mean, last week their top DB got kind of exposed by Michael Pittman Jr. Eight, eight catches, 97 yards, and a tutty. The problem mm-hmm. is Kansas City don't have any good receivers, so there ain't really nobody to expose them there. The second thing about it, I have, okay, here's the thing. Nick will tell you that one of my favorite players in all of pro football is Nick Bolton. The middle linebacker for Kansas City. I think that dude is just God put him on earth to play linebacker. That's just the way it is. He can take. I literally think that they could play him man coverage on any running back that Jacksonville has, and he can do. A, he'll do well. But I still think that the the receivers for Jacksonville are going to slay the secondary for Kansas City, and it's going to be really hard for Kansas City to do the same. Because if there's one thing Jacksonville can do is rush the passer. Yeah. Well, I mean, speaking of rushing the passer, uh, Chris Jones signed a one-year deal with Kansas City. So he's back in, in Kansas City now. They do have some semblance of a pass rush now. But, I mean, I still think... I thought they did goals. phenomenal in the first quarter of the, the Lions oh, game. yeah. They really yeah. did. Like, Naughty was on his shit. Karloftis was on his shit. But then, it's like you said, it's like when you start playing from behind and then we're kind of relegated to passing the ball or... You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. Or like the Lions jumped ahead, so they were like, "Let's play with Gibbs a little bit. Let's let Montgomery run the ball." And then they wore him down. So I don't know. Chris Jones obviously is going to help. He was the best player, defensive player in football last year. He's that guy. He is. I, it is enough though. I still think there's too many holes on that defense, personally. Personally, but I do see a way out though. Okay. If a player like. If, like, Sky Moore or Rashi Rice or one of those guys can get on top of them linebackers, then I think Pat Mahomes can get him out of this. I think – I'm just glad you didn't say Kadarius Tony because I would have left you out of here. But No. I I agree. I think that there is definitely, definitely a, a chance for the Chiefs to win, obviously. I mean, you have what many consider to be the best quarterback in the NFL – and when Travis Kelsey is playing, and right now he, he's limited in practice, but he's practicing. Mm-hmm. I mean, if he plays, that's the best tight end in football. Like, There's absolutely no way in hell you can't play him. 100%. Let me tell you why. You can't go all because, in. well, you, you can't. You The, the Chiefs can because they'll fuck around and win 10 in a row still. And the whole legal, their whole season will change. The reason you can't not play Kelsey is because you have probably the best IDP player in all of football in Jacksonville, Aluakon. And Devin Lloyd, a first-round linebacker taken from, I believe, uh, Utah last year, is just a tackling machine. You have to use Kelsey to get one of those guys away so you can half-ass try to run the ball. Half-ass try, but also actually get Kelsey the ball, too, because he changes the game. Well, yeah, there's that, too. But also, it's like you just benefit more from him being on the field at 75% than him not being there at all. True, even as a decoy, 100%. Right. Yeah. I can see that. So, who do you got winning and why? I got Jacksonville. Jesus. By a little bit. It'll be very similar to last week's game, I feel like. Where, where Jacksonville squeezes by? No, where the Lions barely beat the Chiefs. Like, the Chief, the Lions didn't win it. The Chiefs more so lost it. Sure. Sure. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like it's going to be one of the – that's why I felt like it was a track game for the Chiefs almost. Um, yeah. I'll take, I'll, take, uh, I'll take Jacksonville by a, t- by a field goal. By a field goal. Well, let's check what the odds are. Right now, Kansas City's favored by three and a half. Mm. Which, I mean, but I'm... I wouldn't I'm, be surprised about that either, but it's going to take somebody going off on that team. 
I, it's going to take one of those wide receivers going over the top. Marquez Valdez Scanling or Rasheed Rice. Or... It's probably who it's going to be because he's more comfortable with Pat than any 100%. of those others. I think he's the most likely candidate to go for that over the top. Also, but... listen, like I know Kadarius Tony's a goofball. And he, you know, he might be borderline retarded. Yeah. But he, or... I just fail to believe he's not going to drop all those balls again. I fail to believe, like... I don't know, because, I mean, the the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. That you threw that motherfucker seven balls. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. But he's also a yak guy. He's, a, I mean, if, if he so were to use, catch... So use him like that. Give him an end around or give him a wide receiver screen. Well, that's the point. It's like, right. that's what they're going to do. You know what I mean? And hope that MVS or Sky Moore or Rasheed Rice or one of those other guys can get open. Sure. Like, win a route in the middle of the field. Kelsey, he's fucking... Get loose. Give me 40 yards on one catch. Like, the, those big – one big play changes everything for Kansas City. True. I mean, also, I think one thing we haven't even really talked about, they have some decent receiving backs, too. Like, those backs can work some. That's the point of having Kelsey because if you can right. – they're not going to pull – they're going to put Devin Lloyd on Kelsey to guard him, I feel like. But, I mean, as good as Alua Khan is, I'm not hating the idea of getting Jarrett McKinnon on the outside one-on-one with sure. Alua Khan. You know what sure. I mean? Because – that catch might give me eight yards. Right, 100%. And I mean, I think one of the things Kansas City needs to be better at is managing their running backs in the receiving game. But personally speaking, I, I'm kind of with you. I want this to be like a game one on a field goal. So give me give me Jacksonville by three, I guess. Yeah, keep I just feel it. Like Ridley's got momentum. T- Trevor Lawrence got momentum. I mean, Higgs. Sunshine. Uh, Sunshine. Higsby and ETN even just – have a good game, like a, a do your job, and I think Jacksonville they'll get it by three. Fifty one is the total points. I can see that. I can I see, see that easily over, easily over. Um, any IDP players people should watch out for. Obviously, you've already named a couple. Any IDP players? Um, I like the Will McDonald kid for Kansas City that they drafted from Iowa. Um. Yeah. For Jacksonville, not so much. They didn't really do anything. Like, everybody knows their players. Yeah. For 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 you say a a a, a, a Khan. Yeah, that's a tough name. That's a tough name. Uh, make sure y'all comment something down below. Let us know if we should watch out for anybody in particular. Let us know what you think the game is going to end up like score wise. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see y'all in the next one. Deuce. Peace.